you agree, Mr. Hari Prasad, that the situation is terrible? You want to join this political consensus happening on the news hour tonight? The situation is terrible. We need systemic solutions. You agree with that? Well, well, Mr. Arnab, there are two things. Mr. Navaka was talking of Colgate and the allegation about the Prime Minister, it has to be discussed in the Parliament. The Congress is ready and was ready to discuss th threadbare no. in the Parliament. No. But BJP never, never allowed the Congress to discuss about morality. About the Congress on moral grounds, should again, the Prime Minister continue? No, no, no. Again, let me, let me. Sir, again, no, no. you are, again no, no. you are bringing no, no. the politics into it. Narvekar, Mr. Mr. Also, Mr. I would Narvekar, like to ask you, you are, not, you are projecting, no, no, not, you are projecting a leader who is accused of financial malpractices with income tax returns to lead please. your party in Himachal Pradesh, please, your please. party president shares a dais with him. What kind of examples are you setting before the country? Well, well, that the Congress is only going to well, promote Mr. corrupt Mr. Nav and Mr. people Mr. with malpractices? Mr. I am coming to that point. Just please hold on. I did not intervene when you were speaking. <coughs> Should I? Should yeah. I give an answer? Yeah, go ahead. Well, well, Mr. Veer, Veer, Congress President is sharing a dash with uh, Mr. Veerbhadra Singh. He is in the court of the people. People will decide on 4th of November whether he is corrupt or not. Okay. okay. When, when, when people go goes in people front of the people's court... Okay, so wonderful. The law does not matter. You see, this... Well, 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 just hold on, Mr. Mr. Yeah. Chandan Mitra, so just hold on. Every Mr. Chandra Mitra, hold on. Hold on, hold on for a while. Hold on, hold on for a while. Hold on, hold on for a while. 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 Right or wrong? And if, if they are so particular, they should they should have come to the parliament and discussed about the coal gate. And they are not ready. So Nitin, they believe in the no, show, no, shooting and scooting. No, no, statement. let's do one thing. Mr. That Hari Prasad, I have a question for you. One second. Subject himself to the court of the people. Chandan Mitra. And if people say he's not a thief, he's not a thief. Chandan Mitra, let us assume tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock, Nitin Gadkari comes out of his house finally, which I really hope he will, and says before the cameras that I, since it is believed he has prime ministerial ambitions, I will be fighting a Lok Sabha election from Nagpur. Hence, till the 26th of May 2014, Mr. Hari Prasad, I hope you are listening. He says, I am going to face the court of the people. Yeah. And Nitin Gadkari says the rest of the people, the media, the opposition, the rest of the 1.2 you know, uh, billion Indians have no business asking me because I am preparing to face the court of the people. Please go away. Please go away. Will you then say yes? The same logic I use for Veer Badra Singh, I must now give. Because Veer Badra Singh is facing the court of the people. Nitin Gadkari also faces the court of the people. Shut down the issue. Let's move on. Will you do that? Well, well, Mr. Mr. Uh, Arnab, Mr. Nitin Gadkari is the president of the Bharatiya Janata Party. Veerbhadra Singh party. is the Congress Party's main man serious, in Himachal. Serious? Yes, 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 he, he is. He is in the public life for the past 60 years. So, doesn't it? Shouldn't he? he? In the public Why life should? For the past so 60 same years. logic applies then. Let, let me, let me, let me complete. Let me, let, let me complete. So, if Gadkari wants to fight in Himachal, let him go and fight. Why should he fight I'm in not, I'm not understanding Will the logic. Will come and fight in Maharashtra? I, come, let, I mean, absolutely what, illogical. What bizarre logic is this? Yes, Mr. Yes, Mr. Rosa. Narendra Modi. Yes, Mr. Yes, Mr. Rosa. Coming to you, I have a question for you as well, Brother Shiv Sena. Yes, Mr. Rosa. Mr. Rosa is responding. Basic different. Let us, let us appreciate one thing. The basic difference between Colgate scam or 2G scam or Commonwealth scam or Vadra scam, whatever we call it, they have direct nexus with the state exchequer. They had, these all right. scams right. have destabilized the economy of the country. I see. What, what money has been... And what Gadkari has done has not done that. Is, no, I'm sorry. I am not on Mr. Gadkari, but at least one thing on which everybody would agree is that assuming without admitting and without prejudice to what Mr. Gadkari has to say, none of his actions that we are discussing about here okay. has any nexus with the state exchequer. Okay, okay. Please once this well, I'll, I'll take you on on that. I'll take you on on that. Now, I'll here take you on. Please. I, I'll take you on by asking a question yeah. to Rahul Narvekar. Mr. Narvekar, 
Gadkari was PW minister. Can you confirm it? He was PWD minister of Maharashtra. Right? Yes, very much. Who was in power, sir, in Maharashtra when he was PWD minister? Which which political party alliance? I think uh, this answer is pretty obvious. The Shiv Sena and the Bharatiya. No, I just party. wanted you to say it. Yes. So the question is that he held his post during the BJP Shiv Sena rule. So you are raising a question of political morality. Wonderful. I like your asking that question. I like people who raise the issue of political morality. If it is proven, Rahul Narvekar, and don't run away from this question. Yes. That he took decisions yes. at his time as PWD minister, which benefited a company, which later entered into financial transactions of a detailed, intricate and massive nature with him. Will the question of conflict of interest not emerge and will you need not believe that the same point with Yatin Oza just raised, that it doesn't affect the state, will be demolished by itself? Tell me, Mr. Narvekar. Can you, as a member of the Shiva Sena, completely for absolve me. yourself of the decisions taken for by the PWD minister in your coalition government? Please, give me a direct reply. Corruption is a menace that... No, no, give me a direct reply. Don't give me a broad reply. ...society of ours. The reply, the reply is very straight and simple. Every person, irrespective of which party he belongs to, if he is found to be guilty of an act of corruption, should be dead. Can your party absolve itself of the political morality will, of Gadkari's which will, decisions which will, in favouring IRB? Gadkari relinquished his office way back in 1999. Oh, enough. how does it matter? Are you saying that things get... Yeah, you know, get irrelevant if I am not if even for a moment, I am not even for a moment saying that because he relinquished his office in 99, that something why did you raise the point? cannot be connected with. But this is all a matter of probe that what he did between um, 95 March to 99 September. No, I am asking a hypothetical and question. Being, and that is being repaid in I return saying, in 2010, 2011. I, to jump up straight to a conclusion will not be fair to Mr. Gadkari and therefore in this, back, this basic background of facts, let it be thoroughly investigated. Mohammed Salim, Mohammed Salim, what happens to propriety given the debate we've seen so far? I don't think there is any respect, scant respect for the propriety or morality and a shameless people defending the shameless job. I, defending like that there is no money involved of the government, uh, how can you come, you are saying on the one hand investigation should be there, should be proved, we are asking where from this money is coming and how the government policies and decisions are being influenced by these people and in Maharashtra we have seen not only Sipson or BJP, even the NCP and Congress, they were not raising a voice because it's a nexus between the political parties, bureaucrats and the corrupt people, corporate sectors. And that's why nobody raises a question, not even IT, not even the, the government. No, so what is your point to and Chandan Mitra? I want you to make out. your point directly no, to Chandan yeah, Mitra at the end of this debate. What would you say to Chandan Mitra tonight, who is actually trying to defend very well, since I know he's been a good debater in school and college, he's defending the indefensible tonight. What would you say to Chandan Mitra? I'm, I'm sorry, listening to Mr. Chandan Mitra is a good old friend of mine and he's an editor of a newspaper and respected journalist and a colleague, former colleague of mine. I was his colleague in Ras Sabha. But now, because he belongs to a political party and he subscribes to, is this uh, the bond that he has signed that he has to defend everything and whatever it comes and particularly when it's the personal conduct of Mr. Gadkari who happened to be the BJP president, Albani ji or Sushma Swaraj is defending, uh, RSS is defending and Chandan Mitra Mitra is also joining the bandwagon. He should have come clear and it's an uh, appealing. The argument he's putting forward. Uh, this is uh, not uh, uh, the Chandan Mitra of the yester years. It's a new incarnation of Chandan Mitra as a spokesperson of the BJP. Any response, sir? Sorry, sir. I don't know. I know the audio was very weak. Can you uh, just summarize what? Uh, Summary is that you were a different said. person earlier. And now because of your political compulsion to defend your party chief, you have become a different person. Now that is as simply as I can put it. In other words, no, uh, Chandan, Chandan Mitra, no, uh, no, no, Mohammed no, Salim is saying tonight. Chandan, he also said I one more Mr. thing. Salim, Arda, respect, he also I said one more thing Salim. that Chandan he, has signed the bond which is not proper. Person. No, but at the moment the point is I am here as a BJP spokesperson. Okay. Uh, what I was some years ago, what I will be um, years down the line, I don't think can really be a matter of public debate. 
but i respect mr salim's views on these matters and certainly i think i think they have to be taken seriously his party's views his, his views I they have a major role in indian politics and i i respect i i, I sense I tonight i sense tonight position. as i wrap this up that somewhere deep within the bharatiya janata party is having a rethink uh, on the gadkarish because so many facts are coming out i'm not i don't want but chandan mitra to have to acknowledge that tonight because i know he won't but i sense a deep introspection in the bjp on the gadkari issue whether gadkari is also introspecting or not i don't know but mr gadkari please please answer the specific questions that we have put to you on times now our interview request stands gentlemen i thank you for joining me on debate number 1 on the news are tonight